Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Zhu Yao from Peking University. Please let me introduce our work, IFSPART, an information fusion-based framework for spam review detection. Online reviews, which contain the quality information and user experience about products, always affect the consumption decisions of consumers. Unfortunately, quite a number of spammers attempt to mislead consumers by writing fake reviews for some intents. Most existing efforts for spam review detection were devoted to discovering effective features from review contents and user behaviors. However, they relied on manual feature construction by experts. Therefore, they may ignore other useful features, especially for the complex interactions among data because of the limitation of knowledge and data processing ability of experts. Recently, several models aim at exploring the latent representations of reviews, reviewers, and products for spam review detection. Although these embedding-based models rarely rely on feature engineering, their embedding representations lack interpretability. In addition, most of existing spam review detection methods are based on single classification models, such as logistic regression or SVM, while ignoring the limitations and complementary of different classification models. To solve these problems, we propose a universal framework named IF, IFSPART for spam review detection, in which useful information is effectively explored and exploited at three different levels, that is, the data level, the feature level, and the decision level. At the data level, we propose a novel graph-based feature extraction method to e extract graph structure information from the review graph, which represents the data of users' reviews and items in a unified form. At the feature level, we design an interaction mining based feature crossing method, which aims at exploring complex interactions between features. The constructed features are also interpretable for spam detection. At the decision level, we propose an attention based adaptive ensemble model to leverage the advantages of different classifiers. As shown in Figure 1, the proposed framework IFSPART consists of three stages, that is, fusion at the data level, fusion at the feature level, and fusion at the decision level. First, Inspired by the construction of useful features by experts and the information aggregation process of GCN, we design a graph-based feature extraction method at the data level. In this stage, various features can be extracted automatically by leveraging the graph structure of the review graph which represents the data of users, reviews, and items in a unified form. After that, we propose an interaction mining-based feature crossing method to explore complex interactions among given features. Then, we conduct mutual information-based feature selection and representation learning to reduce the impact of irrelevant or redundant information among the automatically generated features on the model. Finally, 
we assume different classifiers may have different ability to detect different kinds of spam reviews. Therefore, at the decision level, we design an adaptive ensemble model with attention mechanism which fuses the detection results from different base classifiers. Following sections will demonstrate the proposed framework in detail. To fuse and make use of the data of users, reviews, and items, we pre represent them in a unified form, that is, review graph. In the review graph, users and items are denoted as nodes, while reviews are denoted as edges. For computational convenience, we classify the attributes in the review graph into numerical attributes, category attributes, and daytime attributes, inspired by the construction of useful features by experts and the information aggregation process of GCN, we design a graph-based feature extraction method to generate features automatically by leveraging the structure of review graph. For a node in the review graph, besides its own attributes, different attributes of its connected edges and neighbor nodes are collected as supplementary. Thus, we define a neighbor pooling method to aggregate these attributes from different neighbors as features. The information from neighbors with multiple hops can be fused by multiple layers of neighbor pooling. To further mine complex interactions between the extracted features, we propose an interaction mining based feature crossing method from both the value aspect and the interval aspect. From the interval aspect, we propose a novel discriminability-driven crossing method named DDC, which focused on exploring interval interactions between numerical features. For instance, the review length and the rating can jointly detect the spam reviews because we assume shorter reviews with extreme ratings are highly suspicious. The discriminability of an area is measured from two aspects. The number of instances that can be correctly classified in the area and the reliability of the classification results, which are defined as the recognition rate and the consistency of the area respectively. Through the proposed feature extraction and crossing methods, we can generate various features. However, these features may contain some irrelevant or redundant information, which makes it difficult for the subsequent detection model learning. To deal with this problem, we propose a mutual information-based feature selection and representation learning method to remove such information. We design a regularizer, which is defined in equation 13. At the decision level, we assume that different classifiers may have different abilities to detect different kinds of spam reviews. Thus, we propose an attention-based adaptive ensemble model to fuse detection results from different models properly. First, base classifiers are embedded into the latent space. After that, we compute the attention weight that describes the predictive ability of classifier with respect to the instance. The ensemble output is generated by calculating the weighted sum of all base classifiers outputs. Well, to evaluate the proposed model IFSPART, we conduct several 
experiments on four public data sets, which are collected from the online platform Yelp. Experimental results on the four data sets are shown in Table 3. From Table 3, we can observe that the proposed model IFSPART consistently outperforms all baseline methods on the four data sets. In addition, we compare the detection results of different classifiers in Table 4. From Table 3 and Table 4, we can observe that IFSPART with different classifiers consistently outperform all the baseline models on the four data sets which further proves the effectiveness of the proposed framework without model ensemble. To evaluate the effectiveness of proposed modules in FSPART, we conduct the ablation study whose AUC results are presented in Figure 5. In our framework, various features can be automatically constructed via graph-based feature extraction and interaction mining-based feature crossing. Table 5 shows some effective features generated and selected by the proposed model IFSPART, which may be ignored by previous work. As shown in the table, the features automatically constructed by FSPART have the advantage of good interpretability. That's all. Thanks for listening.